Hello, welcome to Texas Style Cuisine. I'm Chef Johnny and today I'm going to show you how to clarify butter. We're going to get started clarifying this butter. First thing I'm going to do is turn on my stove, get it going. Getting this butter clarified is, is not a real hard process. What we're going to do is, is we're going to take a pound of butter and just put it in and we're going to melt this butter. And you may be asking, why in the world do people clarify butter? What we do and the reason we clarify it is, is we're actually taking impurities out of this butter. So therefore we raise the smoking temp of the oil. So we're just heating up the oil because what burns in butter is not the is not the butter or the oil itself, it's the impurities in it. So we're gonna put this in there and we're just gonna melt it down good. And remember this, oil only has a certain life. So the more you cook it in here, the less time it will last when you're cooking on uh, with your food or anything. But we'll be able to make the temperature of this butter go up and get hotter. And so as you can see, it melts pretty quick. We're gonna melt those four sticks. That is one pound of butter. And we're gonna get that melted down. And then I'll show you how we do the rest of it. But bear with me, let's get this melted and then we'll get right back with you. This butter's melted, so I'm gonna get it off the stove. One thing to remember is don't bring it to a big boil, just melt it. So I'm gonna pick this up. I'm going to move my little portable burner out of the way for a moment. This is a magma pot. Don't know if y'all have seen those before. These are my camping dishes. Work great. Handle actually comes off of it. So it works real good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this butter and I'm going to pour it inside of a pitcher. Now, move my pot out of the way, through with it, and I'm just going to let this butter separate. And as it sits there, it's going to divide into three layers. You have particles at the bottom, you're going to have the oil you want to keep in the middle, and you're going to have other impurities that have floated to the top. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to skim the top, pour off the middle, and don't use the bottom. And that's going to be our good butter. One pound of butter is going to give us about 12 ounces, so about 75%. Now these are starting to separate pretty good as you can see. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my dipper, lower it in, and just let this kind of foam that's on the top run into my dipper. Pour that off. Now that still has a good butter flavor to it. If you wanted to, you could pour it on some popcorn or something. Maybe make it work, but I'm just going to continue to take this off. If you have a small dipper, you can trade out to your small dipper. I got a little one here. So I'm kind of getting in the... That's a little bit less now. Now this butter is going to last just like any other butter would in your refrigerator. So. You can pour this into a mold if you wanted to. You can put it in a cup, uh, something that you can cover. Or uh, you can just cover up this container if you always use the same one. There's my clarified butter. Now remember, we still have impurities on the bottom. So we don't want those. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna pour this top or this middle section off and that's what I'll keep. So now here we go. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna start carefully pouring and it's not exact. You can see there's still just a little bit of foam on there. But if I did this right, I should have somewhere around three-fourths of what I started with. So I started with 16 ounces. So I should have about 12 ounces left. Okay. Now I can just, I was getting down pretty low. So 
So there we go. I've got just a little bit over 11 ounces of clarified butter. So if I worked with it, I might be able to get a little bit more out, but we're going to leave it at that. I've got a few dishes. We're going to be cooking uh, with clarified butter this week. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use this for some of those dishes. But anyways, now you know how to clarify butter and maybe you understand why people use clarified butter. So when we saute shrimp, saute other items, we can use pure butter, not have to mix it with oil. It gives us that rich flavor. And, uh, and we're cooking with an oil that's not gonna burn on us. So anyways, thanks for stopping by Texas Style Cuisine. Sure appreciate you dropping in. If you enjoyed this episode of How to Clarify Butter, run down there and give me a thumbs up. Always do appreciate that. Remember to subscribe to my channel and remember to share me on your social media. Tell your friends about us, let them know what's going on on Texas Style Cuisine, and we're gonna see you down the road. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning. Bacon, eggs, and coffee, biscuits, and beans. Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.